ஆழ்வார் பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் மோர் ஃப்ரம் த தத்துவத்ரயம் ஓகே நம்ம சொல்லணும் சோ தேஹேந்திரிய விலக்ஷணனான ஆத்மா தட் சூத்திரம் இது தேவரீர் வாஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் தட் சோ वी अंडरस्टैंड தட் ஆத்மா இஸ் डिफरेंट फ्रॉम மனஸ் அண்ட் எவ்ரிதிங் சோ will we be studying about manas in detail later swami uh not too detail okay so Deep, the question uh, was uh, manas was about so if manas is the one uh that is actually gra- grasping everything from the through the indriyams and mm-hmm. the, it keeps a record of everything that it uh, accumulates from the bahya indriyams right and the manas is the one that is also receiving the gnanam from the atma mm. for the deham to act for the karma indriyams and gnana indriyams to act in the world um, mm. to do the action it derives the knowledge from the atma mm. and uh, through that all the indriyams act with that knowledge and when bahya indriyam if it receives the knowledge like if you if the eyes look at something the external eyes look at something external ears hear something then the manas keeps a record of them is that a good understanding swami mm-hmm. that smriti part i don't know like is the manas also re- responsible for creating that smriti that memory part which will will like the devri used an example saying we see someone after 10 years we see them then we okay. immediately recollect them right see that is part of the dharmabhuta gnanam dharmabhuta gnanam is the one which keeps track of all the information <clears throat> mind is mind can be seen as a uh, controller basically um some vague example will be like the you know copper wire which conducts electricity it doesn't really store the electricity but it is a good conductor any time the electricity has to reach the um plug point or the switchboard from the main place it is the mind which is uh broadcasting it taking it from the source and giving it to the particular switch so similarly atma is having knowledge and mind is the one which which reads that knowledge and gives it to indriyams possibly a better example will be like the ram in the computer actual knowledge is stored in the drive but it gets loaded into the ram and then it's sent to different ports that can be a reasonable example so similarly knowledge is the dharmabhuta gnanam is the one which holds all the information mind reads that information and passes it on to the indriyams and similarly when something comes from the indriyams it is mind which takes that and goes and puts it in uh dharmabhuta gnanam basically adi swami the dharmabhuta gnanam is the one that expands and shortens yeah and that is based on the that is also connected with the karma of the வெப்சைட் இஸ் கோயில் k o y i l .org